Hey guys, what is up? Total Eclipse here today with a guide to mining in Trove. Now, as you can see, I've been working on my house and unfortunately, uh, oh, it's does that, I need to work on it. I've kind of ran out of um, resources, so I can't build any more speed blocks and things. So I'm still working on this, but there's still a lot to be done. So I'm going to go out and mine and thought, you know what, this is the perfect opportunity to do a mining guide. So, first thing you want to do when if you're going to go mining... Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh dear. Gonna have to work on that. First thing you want to do is build some bombs. Now, I know I already have a thousand, uh, 1,100 even, but I'm gonna build another 50 more just to give you an idea. You just type in the number and you craft. I'm sure you're all smart enough to do that. So that's going to cost 50 primordial flame and 500 shaped stone ore. Now if you don't have enough already, you can get a few bombs from running through grass in certain areas. Or just build a few if you can. If not, you're going to have to do the first bit through laser mancy, which we will cover briefly at the beginning and then build some bombs but trust me when I say it is a lot easier and more productive if you build your bombs first. Now you can leave while it's uh, building, while they're being crafted. Now hopefully, yeah, so we are in the highest realm that I can currently go into which is Uber 3. Obviously if you're a higher level you want to go to the higher level worlds to increase your chances of better loot or more ore. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And you want to head to the Dragonfire Peaks, which are the brown flames that you see at the top of my map. Okay, so we've reached the Dragon Peaks and the second we got in, literally the second we have found this underground cavern. Now, it's not as good as it normally is, but there's still plenty of ore here. Now, if we were doing laser mancy, let's get off my horse, my raptor, relic. Now, where has my ally gone? Let's just see if I've got an ally. Yeah, uh, Digsley is my ally. Now, what Digsley does is give you 35 laser mancy, which obviously increases your laser mancy speed. Meaning you can collect this ore a lot quicker. However, this still takes a fair bit of labor and time. So what is going to be your best bet is using bombs, which literally helps if I aim the right way. You hold the hotkey that it's time to, and then just press it. And you can cover a lot of ground very quickly using this. This will probably take me, depending on how big it is, maybe half an hour, an hour to clear. We'll time it, shall we? Right. It's 10 a.m. So you've got golden souls as well, which take two bombs. Other things to remember are you are looking. Oh, ow looking for primordial flames that's my alarm going primordial flames just to get the uh, the cost efficiency of creating the the craft items the bombs i should probably start with uh, showing what we've got left um so we currently have 86 formicite ore, 1,300 shapestone, and 256 primordial flames, and 30 infinium. I'm not going to remember that when I uh, come around to editing this video later on, and proving how much we've increased by, but just so you know, at this point in the video, that's how much we've got. Now my main intention is collecting all the blue ore. Sometimes it's good to throw down a bomb just in case there's any hiding below. Sometimes there isn't. As you can see, it's rather efficient. 
And for every one primordial flame, you do get essentially four bombs. So, how many did we make? We made a hundred. I think we only made 50 actually in this video. So we're just going to see if we can collect as many as possible. As you are doing this, you do collect trove boxes. Now if you can see on my hotbar next to my bombs, there is a trove. Bombing does not decrease your chance of getting one. So that's no reason to stop your bombing run. Yeah, bombing run. Quite like the idea of that. We've got another there. They are quite rare, but they do hold some good loot. That is where you'll find Dixie allies. The first time actually using bombs, I I, I think I had like a hundred bombs that I went out and used and found two Dixleys. And I found two Digsleys yesterday as well and they are like I said worth a lot you can also get things like diamond shadow diamond what I'll probably do is at the end of this video cut it like I'm losing my place there's not as many as there usually is in this cave but these are still the best places to go I find In other zones you do get big caves as well, but they don't tend to have as many primordial flames. Which obviously if you're bomb mining you want to be able to sustain your mining. Bombs. Which is why I collect this. Other tips to think about is when you're doing it. If you're looking to maximize your mining output, you will oh hello shadow block. Um you will want to be doing this on a Tuesday. Now on a Tuesday you have the extra 50% ore. Which is lovely because you're just making so much. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But your other option would be to do it, I do believe, on a Thursday. I don't know if it shows it on here. What? Let's see. I can't think what the button is for store. J no N. It's not going to be on here, is it? When you, I think it's a Thursday. When you sign in, you will see what your daily bonus is. On a Thursday, you increase your chances of receiving troves and chests by 200% which obviously is a huge increase and very much worth it if you're looking for the rare finds and want to maximize your money potential making flux although the only really good items in the chest that I've found so far are the Digsleys and the shadow diamonds are uncommon and same with the diamonds so you might want to use the Thursday um, chest increase on things like looting in uh, dungeon grinding that kind of stuff rather than mining and just mine on a Tuesday so as you can see we are pretty empty here I've checked pretty much everywhere. It's taken me all of 20 minutes. Just gonna go over this side. No. So if we have a look, the next area is all the way over there. We could go that way, um, which I might do and just add it on. But to show what we've got so far, I've actually written down how much we made during those 20 minutes. Now, I've got it written down here. We used up a total of about 250 bombs. And so that worked out as a cost of 62.5 um, primordial flame and 
620 shaped stone ore. Now, on top of that, we made a total of 1,300 extra shaped stone ore, so that's a profit of 700. We had a plus of 100 former site ore, which obviously wasn't great. We didn't have a great um, dungeon for that, but it's it's better than nothing. And we also found 230 primordial flame, which is what um, plus 170, um, which is brilliant. And that is how you can. Um, create more bombs to fund further experiences and you could see throughout the game that I wasn't exactly um, using them sparsely uh, used them quite freely and wasted a few but I still managed to easily make double the amount at the end of it and we also got 30 infinium which could have been much better but I'm not complaining so I'm going to finish that video there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did find it useful, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Just to let you know, there is a good reason for subscribing to my channel at the moment. And that is I have got a giveaway going on. So if you subscribe to my ch uh, channel, in about a week's time when I release my Call of Duty beta videos, I will be putting on a, a giveaway slash competition where... Providing I have 100 subscribers by the end of September, uh, I will be giving away a free game of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Or if you have already pre-ordered Black Ops 3 or don't like that game, we will sort something out for you. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.